Hello everyone, good morning, how are you? It's morning here from in British Columbia, Canada and I'm Olive and I want to talk to you today about a simple way to gain happiness. Do you have, you know, stress in your life? Is your lifestyle uh, conducive to happiness? You know, do you have some bad moments? And here's a really, really simple way just to find some uh, happiness. So welcome, if you're joining me live, please say hello. I'd love to say hi and tell me where you're coming from. And if you're on the replay, then let me know a replay and I will come back and say hello to you later. And if we haven't met before, my name is Olive Dodd and I am here from British Columbia, Canada. And it is Saturday morning for me. It could be different parts of the day for you. Yeah, whatever part of the world it is, but I am enjoying a beautiful Saturday morning. It's very peaceful. I thought I'd come outside and just enjoy the flowers and the birds singing and because my topic is today all about happiness and peace. And so I thought, how about a wonderful, beautiful environment to, to talk in? Ah, so how are you doing are you stressed in your life do you have these bad moments are you chasing after the dreams chasing 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 and it's just a never-ending rat race so i attended a wonderful talk last night actually it was a meditation um, from a buddhist monk and she had some amazing um, thoughts to share and i was just so uh, taken by that that I thought I would share this today and I thought it's a beautiful lifestyle. It's Saturday So let's talk about lifestyle and look, get a little bit away from the business because we need our lifestyle We need our health and our happiness in order to do our business very well. So it all works together so and she was talking about how we're chasing after our desires, you know, we have faster uh, phones, faster computers, our phones do everything for us. We're searching for that bigger house, uh, you know, more money, faster car and all that kind of thing. And is that really bringing us happiness? You know, and in this world we have, we certainly have, you know, our share of problems and have we progressed enough, you know, have we found that happiness? And so the number one thing that she said that we have to look for or do or have to change into a happiness mode. The w number one thing is so simple. We have to change our attitude from negative to positive. That is so simple yet not easy to do. And I just have some notes here because so if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So our unhappiness comes from our uncontrolled desires, our wishing to be happy by external means. So chasing after all these things that it's really our inner peace and our mental attitude that is our source of happiness. Because if we look for it in our external things, we can, you know, have the most wonderful house, the best job, you know, lots of money, but we can still be unhappy. So it's not the external things that bring us happiness, but it's very simply our state of mind, our inner peace and our happiness. So um, we devote so much time and energy, you know, to chasing after uh, these external things where what we really need is, you know, just that, that inner peace. Um, you know, because when we have them, um, we can have a lot of them, but we still don't have that, uh, that inner peace. So the, it's something that we can't find outside of our mind. So we have to learn to control our mind. Um, if our mind is peaceful, then we are happy regardless of the situation. You know, there's some people that you find and they always have this big smile on your face on their face and it's just a delight you know you can be in a traffic jam or you know in a lineup in a store and then there's that just that one person that's just shining happiness you know and they're just taking life as it is and so what's their secret so you know when you're in these situations 
uh, you know, you just think, okay, well, what is the message here? And it's something I can't control, so I might as well just be in the moment and, and let it happen, you know. So, <laughs> so it's all just changing your mind from negative to positive. You know, sometimes, you know, your spouse could do something that just drives you crazy. Well, another thought that uh, she shared with us last night that really hit home to me and is that if you give think about the happiness of others over the happiness of yourself that can bring you happiness you know so often we are chasing after our own desires and our own wants and needs and then when somebody stops that or gets in your way we get angry with that person. Well, that person has their own needs too. And so you just allow that person to have their needs. Their, her expression last night was, I am one, but others are many. So the happiness of others, you know, has a much more benefit than your own happiness. Sure, you want to be happy, but if you can make somebody else happy, then that happiness bounces back to you. So that was a really good message because, you know, I certainly get caught up on that, you know. I'm trying to do my thing, especially if you're rushed, you know. Let me get home. The traffic is, you know, in my way, and I just want to get home. Well, other people are at the same state. So there was a lot of, you know, good messages there, and especially when it comes to things around the house, you know, that your spouse or partner might do. And... So now I think, okay, well, what if I decided, you know, to do that? So something happens, something gets misplaced or, you know, the picture goes up in a certain place. Well, if I ask myself, if that was my decision to do that, you know, then would that be okay? So that's a good, uh, good tip. So just let me check what else I had. Um, so yeah, so you can be in a beautiful surrounding like this. And this is such a peaceful morning, beautiful day. But if I'm angry, then that changes the whole situation. And so it's my state of mind. And so yes, the beautiful surrounding certainly helps, but it's the inner peace that in the end makes a huge difference. So how can we change that? How can we help to change our mind from negative to positive? A beautiful way is just gratitude. Being grateful you know I have this cell phone that I'm talking to you on and there's a lot of people in the world that you know don't have that you know I have a beautiful garden and some lovely flowers here so you know just be grateful for those uh, small moments and uh, like I said the the needs of others you know uh, think of the needs of others as opposed to my own desires uh, sometimes help others just by helping others that makes me feel really really good and then number three is just to change your perspective look at the other side of things you know what's the positive side of something or maybe there's a lesson in uh, what you can be learning so that's all I have to say on that and I hope that you can find some peace and I want to ask you your thoughts on that um, you know what are you grateful for today what you know what small thing you know can you show a real appreciation for just to change your thoughts from negative to positive and how do you find your happiness and then does that happiness really last if you go shopping and go buy something and then go sits in your closet you know how long does that happiness last so yeah so give me your thoughts on that and if you found any value out of this uh, please let me know and if you feel that you have a friend or two that might um, benefit from this then please you know share it with them and yeah so have a wonderful day and I hope that uh, you can find some happiness by uh, changing your thoughts from negative to positive and finding that peace of mind. Okay, we'll talk to you again tomorrow and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.